We begin in Hamilton, where a 73-year-old man has died after a violent crash downtown. Police say the man was driving down Barton Street West when he was struck by another driver who was captured on security video speeding through stop signs. Matt Ingram is live at the scene and joins us now with the very latest. Matt. Taz, CHCH News has obtained several surveillance videos of this incident, which shows the power, the force, the speed of this impact. However, before we tell you more, I want to caution you that these videos show the moment of impact. Speeding south on McNabb. Blowing through the stop sign at Colburn and Barton Street West before slamming into another vehicle. Police say a 45 year old man was behind the wheel of the vehicle traveling on McNabb while a 73 year old man was driving the car that was hit. Both were taken to hospital in critical condition, the older man later dying. Speed as it is, is always concerning and it's left us here with a devastating conclusion. And when we looked out our front door, there was uh, two cars in our front yard. The two cars landed on Kim Papp's front yard, the loud noise alerting her to the large crash. The stop sign from over there was on the ground in front of our stairs. A lot of firemen trying to get the drivers out of the cars. They were badly hurt and uh, it was awful. She was out today repairing the damage to her garden and a stone wall which she credits for protecting her home noting a previous crash where a vehicle ended up on her neighbor's porch. Oh, there's been a lot of accidents here at this four-way, and that's why we have the rock uh, wall here to protect the house. If it wasn't there, that car would have been on our porch. First, we thought somebody drove over the speed bumps pulling a trailer. Dan Miles heard the noise from his home, his security cameras catching the incident. He says speeding is a big problem on McNabb. We've had multiple videos of people street racing, ignoring stop signs, going at extremely high rates of speed through that area, and uh, the city's been notified multiple times. Hamilton police say no charges have been laid yet, but they say the investigation is ongoing. As it relates to an arrest at this time, they're uh, still working through that. Moments after the crash, police responded to reports of an erratic driver just a block away, arresting a 63-year-old man for impaired driving and failing to remain. However, police say that fail to remain charge is not connected to the fatal crash. That is not related to the incident being investigated at McNabb and Barton. Now, returning back to the initial crash here at McNabb and Barton, concerns about speed in this neighborhood are a real thing. We were actually just approached by another set of neighbors who just, just live down the street saying that they constantly see people disobeying traffic rules along this stretch of Barton, and they're hoping that City Hall and police can do more to enforce the rules. Now, the 45-year-old driver of the vehicle that was traveling up McNabb in this crash, he is in hospital in critical but stable condition. Police are asking anyone out there who knows anything about this, who might have video of this, to reach out and get in touch to help them as they continue to investigate what happened here.